Hey folks, Quill18 here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Surviving Mars! Possibly the final episode, I'm not sure. Um, we are simply looking to complete this final milestone. Um, I mean, there's more stuff, you can build more wonders or whatever, but I mean, at a certain point it's like, okay, the, the challenge isn't there. The challenge is in a new colony, and that's what we'll be looking for, or playing other games. Um, we are building one final mega dome here. We've also got some sort of weird event going on with some kind of sick patient. It's not in the list here. I'm curious to see where it's going to go. Discover some sort of, like, patient with bizarre DNA. Oh, I just realized we never set up the little decorations in this dome here. Poor little guys. Could have some more fun. I do like the animation on this. It's really cool. This dome here. Lots of unemployed still. Well, I guess we could get you another VR workshop, actually. I'm going to keep sort of focusing on this because I think what we're going to do is also focus on building a lot of electronics. Well, we've already done that. It's actually a lot easier for me Research to just set up complete. polymers. Nocturnal adaptation. Night shifts are higher performant, which I don't know if it matters here because there's building performance for the VR workshops and, and other workshops, and they do work a night shift, but I'm not sure they do anything. You know, they count towards the workshop milestone, but that's workers, like, as as actual people, I assume, as opposed to you know, performance-wise or anything like that. This is still a little whiny. Social shopping, relaxation, playing. Uh, we've got a little bit of room for another final garden over here, which I will put down. I mean, it's not adding to the variety of stuff over here, but it should be okay. And yeah, we're currently exchanging concrete for polymers as a trade deal, which is good. It means we're not making as much money because we're no longer, you know, shipping everything. Although I suppose I could... <gasps> Planetary anomalies found. We haven't seen one of those in a long time. Okay, I want a rocket. I don't want to spend all my money because I'm worried about that patient. So I think I'll just send a passenger rocket, even though we still have ludicrous amounts of people and no space for them. But that's okay. <laughs> we have 139 homeless. But it's fine. We'll send another rocket full of people. <laughs> oh, I'm such an ass. And then, yeah, we'll send them after the planetary anomalies to see what's what. Hey, this dome is coming out together. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So wait for that. We'll set up an arcology, set up a handful of apartments, and then workshops. And I guess some basic um, services. We might want to reserve a room for, like, you know, medium dome over here. I don't know. You probably can't fit on the crater, but maybe right there. And that might still have room. So keep in mind, we might need a spot for that. I'm telling myself. We are going to arcology... handful of apartments excellent and yeah what I'll do over here I'll plan for that if I go to services we get a diner there we get a grocer here leaving this space empty uh, and an infirmary there you go basic services there Get you going, and then um, we'll, we'll have some art workshops too, because polymers actually aren't too bad. I know I keep talking about the uh, the electronics type stuff, but that's going to be okay. So I'm just going to bring down the priority control, click that to make these get built last, because we need people to live here first. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Uh, offering polymers. Yep, yeah, no, we can take another one of those. Oh, yeah. Was that. That, that's right, that's what's coming. So we're not actually using up our rocket that's going back and forth and selling our rares. They're shipping it to us. That's true. Okay, no, that's fine. That's much better. Um, you're offering metal for electronic... No what? No. Research. Research, complete. Research complete. Advanced passenger module is now done. Holy cow. They don't care about that tech. I mean, we could run some of the copyright ones, but no... Uh, oh, we can get upgrades to our research buildings. This would be nice. Get you. There. Get those going on, just so that research is still going on. Building not working? No. Oh. I don't know which one it is, but it's fixed now, I guess. Alright. No longer offering... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that would have been nice, I suppose. Um, we don't have a landing spot over here, but if we go here, there's not going to be anything covered in dust. We might want to go and build, a, not trade pad, a landing pad. 
Just in this area. And yeah, no more drones here, but that should be okay. Housing's getting built. Get some people here, some unemployment here. Colonists have arrived. We Colonists got are a celebrity. And a genius. Well, that's very good. Is that a genius tourist? I guess we get money and still some science. Oh, the patient. All right, further research. Uh, first batch is starting to work. It's not contagious. They can wander the dome. Despite still being able to see with one eye what language the patient speaks is currently unknown. This barring a lot less from communication. Seems to be reacting positively to small solace afforded by the alien stranger. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll keep paying. I have no idea what's going to go on with this guy. I've never seen this. Is it something that happens because we've gone on like super long or is it just a random chance to come up? I don't know. Here, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll be ready to upgrade you guys. Although, again, that hammer's just in the polymers, but and that'll have to be what it's going to have to be. So I'm hoping that finishing these will give us that final milestone. Boom. Research amplification. <laughs> Could have gotten that earlier. Now it's like, what's the point? I don't remember. There might be repeatable projects or something you can do to earn money with your research once you've capped it out. But again, like we're, we're sort of done this run. I mean, that's, that's fine. It's okay for the game to end and not build infinitely. I do like seeing this area. It's like a pan over. That's like, that's a lot of domes. That's really cool. I mean, it's not like I built it things in a particularly organized manner. Just sort of just stuck them wherever they fit, but... It still looks kind of cool. Yeah, concrete's still good. We now have over 100 of each electronics and polymers. Okay, so those things have really caught up, which is nice. And these things are... Oh, you're not firing on all shifts. There you go, 31%. We're getting there. We still have tons of workers available. Build, build, build. Shuttles all over the place. Food should be fine. Housing should be okay. Okay, I'll put it back to medium priority here. And this thing is set to have 10 of each. It's got some polymers and things. Yeah, it's got everything we need. Just gotta wait for it to be built. Some things are being delivered to this thing, which is fine. We do have money. I'm not gonna outsource, though. We might just spend some money to um, do something else. Yeah, these things are slowly... Or by something else, I mean ships and polymers or electronics. Do we have a storm going on? Just a big leak? Oh, no, no, we do have a storm. Okay, I was going to say, hold on, why is this not working? I'm not as concerned with these. So that's going to kill our, our construction for a bit because we're not able to shuttle things around. Yeah, I'll keep these running. I don't care. It's fine. It still helps. We actually don't have as much water stored as I might like. Now, I know this is not going to help right now, but I'm still going to go and plan for some more vaporators. So, yeah. If you place, like normally I control click to place in bulk, right? But yeah, it doesn't update the uh, the overlay. I don't think I've noticed that for anything else before. But it's possible that this doesn't really matter with anything else. So we're just getting some extra vaporators so that when the storm is over, we're going to be able to collect more and fill things faster, which is good. I'm also going to go and get ourselves a little bit more storage. Um, which, again, doesn't help us now, but helps to prevent the next disaster. Power should be fine. Oh, though, speaking of, if I'm not wrong, we queued up a couple more of these, and these are being worked by people right now. So, control click to um, get the upgrade going there. Unemployed, homeless, yeah, but they'll move out of here um, once it's done. So, I think it's going to be all right. If we do have unemployment problems, so there's more unemployed than homeless here. Here, it's a match. So, as soon as people can live somewhere else, they will. But here, it's not. I think we can fit another polymer factory. Colonist has died. Did you get struck by lightning? Hang on. I'm just pausing for a sec. Uh, if I put you here, I think you can be worked by this dome, which would be nice. Struck by lightning. Called it. <laughs> uh, you've done that there. You're at 100%. So you're going to go to fruit trees. Fruit trees. How's our food? I haven't been watching it. It's over 3K right now, which isn't bad. And it can bob up and down pretty like impressively, and it can be really hard to track the production versus consumption because it's it's so bursty. If you only do fungal farms, then it's actually pretty clear to, to keep track of things. And yeah, you're waiting for some polymers to be delivered. Um, I can see us maybe doing a little polymer factory over here. There we go. Right there. 
I'm actually just going to put down another universal storage over here because I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Um, and I'll, I'll say desired amount 10 for everything again. So this will keep a little fuel nearby, give you somewhere to dump your polymers, which are going to get consumed immediately. Because these guys are looking for polymers, yeah. And yeah, we'll build some of the electronic ones at the same time too, but... Resources are low. Done, done. The electronic ones looks like they fit more, many more people in, don't they? Five per shift, six, ten for the VR. Okay, so, I mean, if we're worried about, like, density of placement, the VR ones do just eat tons more workers per space, which is pretty good, and that's what we're looking for, so I guess we'll do that. You're still waiting for some workers. Uh, we have the storm going on right now, right? So, yeah, you can't move people around right now. We've got tons of vacant residential slots, so that's that. I'll go ahead and give you the home upgrade. I don't care. Well, it's going to eat polymers, but it'll also make people happy, and I'm all about making people happy. I think our water will hold out until the end of the storm. But I'm also very happy that we're Recent building all these vaporators heat. after. Oh, the patient. Good enough. Take short walks around the dome. Brief, enjoyable activities. Still unable to communicate. Positive aura. Become better versions of themselves. Interesting. And yeah, we'll just keep paying. Research amplification is done. You know what? I know we're like basically done all our research, but I don't care. I'm going to come over here. You guys don't have do or drones right now? I mean, I'm sure something just needs to be repaired, but I'm going to move an RC commander out there. Uh, so upgrade, 50% extra science production. That's a lot. And I think the network node itself can be amplified. Done. So we control click that to do a mull. And I'm okay with it. You're offering polymers for our concrete? Sure. Send them over. We're not short on them, but we'll do it anyway. And no one's offering electronics, right? Like, we've got it set. Yeah. Global deficit. No one's got electronics. Ooh, four people died. Lightning. Yeah, big old lightning strike over here. I don't know if there's anything you can do to protect people other than, you know, not send them outside as much. We are officially out of water. How much more storm? Ten hours. Good God, we do burn through the water quickly. Holy cow. I'm happy we're going to have more storage. We may need to offset it with more, um, more water mining, though. Not you. I mean, we can reach more water deposits. There's some all over the place. I don't know. More storage and more vaporators? Maybe that's all we need to do. Uh, auction. Auction's going to hold out. I guess because the thing with the water is that we are... Um, we are using it to make fuel, which we have to constantly make because we're constantly making polymers. So, yeah, we'll store up tons of water. 12 domes without life support. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Plus, we got the leak on top of it. Oh, that's great. Some people are earth sick. Oh, we can't launch right now, although soon we will. One more hour. And then I think our water production will be will be positive immediately. I hope. Uh, it's not. Seriously? 11... Maybe things are still kicking in. There's probably some repairs and stuff still happening. Um, return to Earth. And return to Earth just the old-fashioned way right now, rather than be automated. Because we could build a space elevator. Still have auction shortage, too. That's... It must be a repair thing. That being said, I will go and build a couple of moxies here. We'll also be ready to upgrade the moxies. go more water I mean it's just one per and this gives it 50% so it's 1.5 per at this point even assuming that it's not just a thing that we're waiting for repairs we should be okay but I think I will queue up more of these vaporators because again if nothing else we need to make sure they fill up the stockpile quickly enough between storms not just at a trickle Okay, we are positive again, but I'm happy we've queued up a few more. Upgrade you. Auction's positive as well, although likewise, I'm still happy to build these moxies. Low storage of many things. True, but... Uh, da -da -da. Get those workshops going on. Da -da -da. And those, we'll have to remember this one. You are double workshift. 
and double upgrade. And we're looking at here. Vacant work slots. So... Oh, no, we can have a lot more people in here. We just got to wait for people to move in. Okay. And, yeah, we still have homeless people. So we're just waiting for the shuttles to catch up and move a bunch of people over here, which is fine. We don't have anyone waiting, or we don't have a shuttle waiting at home. Plus, we already have enough people, but yeah. So a bunch will come up here. That's actually not enough to eat through an entire homeless um, package, which is a little crazy. So I've got to wait for those moxies to get built. Okay, these are built. I want to make sure to upgrade them right away. I know it's eating to our polymers, but it's clearly worthwhile. Okay, we are producing a lot of excess water now. Not maybe as much excess oxygen as I'd like. I did build a little bit more oxygen storage. I may want to make sure we've got even more than this. I don't know. There you go. You're hooked up. That should hopefully be okay. We seem to do okay with the oxygen. I guess because we're not consuming it for... Yeah, you can see the demand is much lower. Like, we need... Our demand for water is twice as high. Now, we do produce that much, but when there's a storm going on, our demand doesn't really change, and so we go through our storage twice as quick. There's Project Mohole, which is going to be great. Rare Metals Export. Oh, I guess they both arrived at the same time. Oh, the patient. Further research may be made. New drug to extend the life of the patient. Who we'll abandoned them here? Health is deteriorating rapidly, yet they go around the dome, giving a hand to random colonists with mundane chores. Sickness and disease more or less become a thing of the past for humanity. This is why people are reacting so strongly to the woes of the stranger, and they're more inspired by the willfulness shown. All right, we'll keep paying. Wonder, like, is he going around just boosting morale everywhere? What's the deal? All right, both of these are done. I'm going to go and control click to upgrade those guys with magnetic filtering. So a lot of polymers being required for these upgrades, but well worthwhile. All right, so more people are slowly moving in here. But it is taking a while. If we could drop a shuttle... Well, again, we have tons of people, but you know what? I don't care. I'm going to launch... I drop a shuttle here anyway. Although more people means I need more of these buildings. Maybe that's really stupid. But there's no maybe. That is really stupid. I don't care. I want more people under my control. So I can be a god to everyone. Um, let's start with Mohol. I don't really need that, though. Well, I don't know. It's kind of nice. We've already got the Waste Rock processor here. I think this will be a good place for both of those. Alright, we'll build you here. And yeah, we may build the other mining thing over here. And like, end up with like three or four Waste Rock processors in the same area. Maybe, you know what, these water extractors... Well, we still need the water. I guess it's fine. No fuel for shuttles. We have tons of fuel, right? No, we don't! Well, we had the water shortage, so that wasn't going to help. Um, and we've got a lot of polymer factories that might be burning through all of our fuel. And having our shuttles shut down is really, 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 really bad. Because then our entire base is going to go come to a crawl. Let's get you going over here. I don't. I'm not going to put any more dedicated storage here. We clearly have tons of storage everywhere for the fuel. We just need to make sure the production stays up. Now, one of the things we never did is upgrade the fuel refineries. Because I was like, oh, we don't really need it. But no, I think we may need to. It might just be backlog. Uh, no fuel consumption is really high. Must be for all the polymers. Okay. I'm going to control click both of these. Which is going to hammer our power a lot as well. And our power situation is fairly low. So control click on both the, the upgrades for all the fuel refineries everywhere. And what I'm going to do here is draw out a power line. And... There. Tons of fusion. And uh, let's make sure to build some redundant lasers. Research complete. There we go, cover you. And this whole line of cables, I want redundant overlapping lasers to protect the cables. 
You're gonna land there, bring in people, even though that might be really stupid, because we actually have way too many people as is, but that's fine. They can go into this dome and start working. Um, have these all been set? Nope. Multiple workships, 32%. Just need more people to move in here. Food, 3.6k, that's stable. New colonists have arrived. Driving colonists, colonists departing colonists. <laughs> Now, fuel, heavy drone load over here. Now, we do have these fuel refineries. Now, slowly start trickling it out. We do have some fuel. Uh, although, I'm willing to bet, yeah, our consumption is still too high. Uh, we want the shuttles. Make sure the shuttle hubs are set to max priority. So they get fuel before... Uh, before our polymers and before the ships. These guys need maintenance from machine parts, which we do have. Although, if the shuttles aren't working, you see... Shuttles aren't working, bad things start to happen. And even terrain. There you go. Get you in here. Um, there's enough of you in one area. Let's go ahead and get a little... Uh... Here, we'll use a mega storage, even though I don't really understand how they work still. No cable connect. You will, though, once that gets built. So you'll be okay. Okay. Now, more fuel refineries equals we need more water as well. So we're going to be continuing to spam down these evaporators. So you're going to go there. Research complete. And vaporators mostly need mean we need lots of storage too because horrible things could happen during storms. Fueled extractors, we're not going to run you. Oh, patient requires attention. Oh, well, soon we submitted one last treatment. Oh. Despite the grand sum of money being spent on the patient to no avail, our colonists need to celebrate the effort being done to ease a stranger's life. All right. Let's do that too. Go connect you out over here. I don't think you have um, any laser defense over here, so I think we're going to end up building a little of that to protect some of these areas, and that's going to be okay. Oh, again, patient has died. We did all we could to, but fell short in the end. Um, sickness is rare among the humans at stage. Oh, many colonists have gained the enthusiast perk. Odd chapter of our colony's history. All right, well, that was swell. Mm, looks like we could probably use a waste rock processor over here. So we'll do that. Drone heavy load. I was just checking here. Like, it's got the little radius, but all the buildings have this little hex thing that shows up. I don't think that's range. I mean, I may be that I've been wrong this whole time. We do have some buildings complaining about not working, but... Yeah, you don't have any electronics. We don't have a ton sitting around, either. We do have a good amount of money. Do we have a shuttle at home? We do. There. Done. I guess we could do 75 of both if you want to balance, but we'll just do this. I think it's going to be handy to have that. We still have tons of money. If we build the uh, space elevator, right, because I was going to do the extractors first which still needs a ton of resources. And we've got everything that we need to build this. It just It's just the shuttles need to get their act together. Keep this a little higher here for this. Uh, you don't need food. So fuel is still being hammered. Uh, fuel production is slightly higher than consumption now, which is good. And we could upgrade these, which I think is a good thing to do. Upgrades take material up front, and they do take a little bit more power, but then the maintenance um, isn't quite as bad. Need electronics and things over here for this. You're waiting to refuel, right, which is going to be slow because of our priorities. But it's okay. The shuttle hubs are working now, which is really, really important. I said this was going to be the last episode, but now I'm thinking that maybe not, because we got a little slowed down over here. What are we looking at? Oh, tw only 29%. Yeah... Because the unemployed workers, I don't think they count. So shipping more people is truly a bad thing. 
Uh, we have a lot of machine parts, so let's go crazy with the biorobotics, which use machine parts. Get that going on, because you still have some unemployed. You have a little bit more room for people. We could build a couple more apartments and then do that. Uh, I was going to say, the comfort's probably not going to be very high. You've got nowhere to play and relax, because you have no pretty green spaces. Let's put you over there. No fuel for shuttles. I don't know. But we've got some. Research. Rover research printing. Complete. No tech. I guess in the end, when you run out, yeah, you just you just keep doing the, the patents and copyrights over and over. So we'll unlock all of you. I'll unlock both of you, even though I'm not planning on using them necessarily. I then maybe that should means I should just be doing copyrights, but so I can ship infinite amounts of stuff from home. Uh, power's a bit of an issue, and we're waiting for these things to get built. Maybe we'll increase the priority on this. Hope the material comes here first, rather than being used in the dome. Because that is clearly very important. Meteor storm soon. We can deal with a meteor storm. That should be okay. Slowly refueling you. I mean, the sooner we refuel you, the sooner we can, you know, ship um, more goods. But that's going to be okay. Uh, let's drop you over here. Because the sooner we refuel you, you'll send out the rare metals. That's going to be okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So the mine, not that we're low on rare metals, but I still want that anyway. Feels like if you're going to build these wonders that are super expensive, let's build the ones that produce stuff first. But even then, I'm no longer sure. If we can get like the cheaper exports and we can export rare metals easy, then maybe that's the way to do it. If I build the space elevator, I should probably build it near where we're um, mining the rare metals. Although again, we're going to be mining some for free here. Forever. It's not for free. I mean, it doesn't need a, de a deposit or something. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm a little worried about our electricity, although we have a huge bank, which is nice. All right, you're refueled. Good. You go. And we did drop off some material, which is good. There we go. Yeah, yeah. so now we have enough resources for that. The fuel situation is still a little bit harsh, but we do produce a bit of an excess now. You got to do that. Use more of our polymers. And actually, high priority on all fusion reactors. They need to stay functioning as well. Like, if you've got to choose where to spend your uh, electronics, spend them keeping our fusion reactors maintained, please. Okay, you're going to come up soon. And upgrade. So you don't actually need people because there's no people within reach. Yeah, we had, luckily, we had incredible bank for electronics. Or not electronics, for power. Electronics, it feels like we do, but yeah, like our consumption is crazy here with all these stupid workshops. My god. Click, click. 34%. Damn, we're close. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently I'm dying a little, it's fine. Vacant work slots. Some homelessness. Yeah, so we need, um, we need more living space over here. Start with this and then see where we go. You need to be upgraded. I mean, we're way overkilling the power, but that's okay. And you know what? I'll cancel this one. It was maybe a little too much. Just waste the material to build and then to maintain. Uh, ooh, you were kind of full on your storage or something. Or no, you were out of goods is what was going on there. I would like more drones, but... And I'm hesitating to set up the thing. Uh, you're waiting for the upgrades. If anything, maybe I'll just buy the drones. That way I don't need any of the workers working at the drone manufacturer. Although I do have tons of unemployed. Why did I send more people? <laughs> oh, I'm so crazy. Rumor. International Mars mission will scan a planetary anomaly. Oh, that's right. We have these anomalies I never got around to. Um, here, you're refueling. Go and do this. So there is a time limit for those, but at least you get a warning about it. Hopefully it's breakthroughs. Always use more breakthroughs. Boom, boom. Need more machine parts. Research complete. Hanging gardens. Exports. Good. Um, let's 
ship just a crap ton of electronics. And that's going to be fine for now. Because polymers actually seem to be going okay. Yeah, the consumption's a little lower for polymers than electronics. One more work sl slot over here. Done, done. So yeah, we just need to cram more people in here. Yeah, there's actually a crazy amount of vacant work slots. Um, actually, that'll kind of work out, because I was going to say about 100, but there's 24 per. Uh, no, maybe we don't need this many. Let's let's remath after that happens, or recheck the numbers after that happens. We'll try to avoid math at all, at all, uh, something. Stored metals. How come, so you got that, you just don't have enough drones. Hmm. Let me send you here for now. That's meteors incoming. So we might... Conceivably, we could lose a bunch of drones to this attack here, which would sort of suck. Disabled work slots. Yeah, you're fine for now. You're mostly okay. You're mostly... Meteor well, it's, it's the balance of things. Um, so we could employ some of you people. I don't know. Maybe more drones would actually be good. Maybe I should have never gotten rid of the thing. But we needed the material short term. Ah, I regret nothing. Hey, planetary anomaly analyze. Get some money there, or some science, which I'm I'm gonna complete everything, even though I don't need it. Like I literally don't need this tech at all. It's stupid, but a microfusion might be fun though. Put that down. Surround it with solar panels. <laughs> Could send a bunch of drones from home too. If I'm not sending electronics, assuming we have money. Which should happen once we get the space elevator properly working. Which is not here, but after this is built, that's going to be the idea. Well, I guess this isn't the last episode after all. We're back down to 32%. We're still making too many babies. Um, yeah, we're just going to need more domes. More domes dedicated to just this. Well, and then electronics. And I've got too many people. We're 2.1k! Okay, we need to stop people from making babies. What do we do? Tear down our medical things? We might be like in this weird stuck loop here. Where our population is growing faster than can keep making sense. Electrostatic dust storm approaching. And we really do need more fuel generators. God damn it. We need so many more fuel refineries. Can't drain you in there? No. That's okay. There's a bunch of room over by this cable. Make a little hub for it. Blocking objects, really? What's blocking there? Whatever. Okay. Um, storage depot and fuel depot right there. All right. That'll have to do. Rocket full of something. I don't even remember what. Some people might leave. Oh, right. Um, Project Armstrong send... You are refueling. We will send you. Excellent. Lovely. So concrete we've got. We've got the machine parts. It's just a question of having enough shuttles working quickly enough. It's a little bit out of the way. It's not like where we're storing our primary stuff for that. So that's not going to help. You guys have been both upgraded. We've got crazy amounts of power. We still have crazy amounts of power in the bank. Um, water is accumulating maybe a little more slowly than we'd like, but uh, I don't know if these guys here ever got upgraded. Nope, they didn't, and I would very much like to do so. Much, much, much more water without increasing our power requirements or maintenance requirements. Just to cost a little bit of polymers right now is going to be great and glorious. And yeah, we do need more bots there. So you guys are just chilling. Research. One's going to the anomaly. Fusion auto-regulation we don't need. Well, I'll put a cut in here, and we're going to have to continue this next time <laughs> while we stay stuck at this, this fixed percentage that then drops as our population increases. Uh, what's the deal here? Yeah, we still have room for people. We just need people to work in these places. How are they unemployed people? Like, you guys can work in these spots. It's going to be fine. Resources are low. 
are they? It's amazing. They have so many electronics and it is low. But it, it is true. All right, folks, thanks for watching, and I'm going to see you guys next time.